Hi everyone, welcome to Heaven Healing in Tarot. This is Christina. Today's pick a card is what surprise is waiting for us? What surprise is coming in, you know, right around the corner within, you know, the next week or so? What can we expect? Okay. Before I get started, I always send out some healing. So take a deep breath with me. All right, pile one, rose quartz. Pile two, smoky quartz. Pile three, aquamarine. And pile four is citrine. So take a moment, pick the one that you are most drawn to, and we'll get a, we'll get a little peek into what we can expect coming in. Hopefully it's all good stuff, but it's stuff that we're not really expecting. Right? All right, I'm gonna get started with pile one. Okay, pile one, you chose my rose quartz. Then uh, let's see what we get here. King of Swords, Two of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, my favorite. And then we have the Tower, of course. <laughs> It's okay, it doesn't mean it's a bad thing, but uh, let's see here. All right, so I think uh, somebody's coming in with some honesty and clarity for you. Soulmate? Soulmate maybe? Soulmate coming back for some kind of a, a love connection here saying, I'm willing to give you equal give and take and uh, we're gonna be successful and we'll have our 10 of Pentacles. Could be somebody coming in for you if you're single, looking for love. It could be your soulmate stepping up, saying, I'm ready now. I'm ready to give you, uh, like I'm ready to meet you in the middle. I'm ready to give as much as you give to me. I'm, I'm ready to this to be equal and uh, you know, you don't have to put your foot down anymore. I'm ready, I'm ready to give what you want. We're gonna have everything we could ever want in life. All right, so whether you're with somebody or not, I feel like you're kind of like, you're kind of like the King of Swords energy where you're not gonna accept anybody lying to you. You're, you're gonna be wise and smart. You're not, you're gonna know when somebody's playing a game with you and you're gonna like kind of call them out on it and you're gonna be like, this is it. This is, this is what I want. This is what I need. You're gonna be direct. You're gonna be sharp. You're gonna be fair. Um, but you're just going to be, you know, very logical. And uh, this soulmate you're definitely dealing with, and they're definitely willing to play ball. They're like, they're ready to do things right. They're ready for the scales to be balanced. Um, and you know, you guys know, Ten of Pentacles, my favorite card. Like that's so much abundance. That's love and happiness and joy and bliss but it also has an element of the financial, like there's money coming in. So that's why I love it, because it's you get everything plus you get the money, which, you know, money's not important in this lifetime. It's really not, but when you, you have it, it's an extra little bonus. It's the icing on the cupcake, right? Now, we have the tower. Now the tower is when something falls apart, when something crumbles, when something changes drastically, when something like disrupts your life. So I kind of feel like this disruption is gonna cause a little bit of chaos in your life, but it's really for the good. It's really uh, for the positive. So say you're single and this person, this soulmate comes in and says, you know what? let's get married. Let's just go get, let's run away and get married. And you're like, uh, 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 okay. And that totally changes your life suddenly, right? Cause now you're going to have a spouse and you're going to have some, you're going to want to live with somebody and like things are going to be different. Like the, there's going to be some upheaval in your life because of it. That's not necessarily a bad thing, right? But it is a tower moment. It is some kind of chaos. It's gonna it's gonna cause a stir. It's gonna cause a 
disruption, but it does kind of feel like there's a rebuilding going on, like you're rebuilding your life. So I kind of like this tower moment. These are, if I had to choose a tower moment, this is the tower moment I would choose. <laughs> you know, because tower moments usually happen when you hold on to things a little too long and you don't make a decision. Uh, things come crashing down. The universe uh, makes that decision for you and says, all right, you needed a change. You didn't make it, so I'm going to make it for you. All right, so they're not usually fun. They're what we need, but they're not usually fun. This one... This might, you might feel it a little bit, but for the most part, it's, it's happening for all good, good reasons. All right, let's get you a few more cards now. An exciting event. Maybe you are getting married. That's a pretty exciting event. Maybe somebody is coming in to propose and sweep you away and run off with you. Now, that was just an example, but I don't know. We got an exciting event coming in. I don't know. Maybe some come, somebody comes in and knocks you up. <laughs> That's an exciting event, whether you want it or not. It's still exciting in some way, right? And it does cause, it will cause chaos. But I, for some reason, I'm kind of feeling like somebody wants you to move. I don't know. I don't know. Um, tortoise, slowly but surely getting ahead. So um, you're going to be fine. You're, you're making forward progress. It's Whatever's happening is happening because it needs to. But we'll see. Or you guys can share with me what this is when it happens, and then I'll be, like, excited. <laughs> for you. Alright, let's see, let's see. My foot, my one foot, it's really cold. The other one, I'm not really feeling it, but my, I have new shoes on, and shoes or socks on. I'm barefoot, and uh, my left foot is freezing. In case that means anything, it probably doesn't, but I just said it receiving every day it becomes easier to receive the highest divine plan and to trust my inner guidance so they're bringing you a gift be open to receive it they're bringing you something in like you know you got ten of pentacles here so there's some good definitely some good stuff coming in for you beautiful surprise beautiful Oh, Lumeria, this card's been coming out a lot lately. Um, Lumeria was uh, heaven on earth. It was a, a paradise. It was a, an actual place here on earth. It's no longer here. I think it got swallowed up by the ocean. Uh, or a volcano pushed it under the sea or something. Or a volcano killed it. Um, but it was a paradise, right? And that's where the Lumerians lived until they went extinct. Um, anyway, it's a, it was all beauty and, and grace and, like I said, a paradise. So this is saying that, you know, you don't have to wait to get to heaven to get your paradise. You could create paradise here. It's possible. It's absolutely possible. Now, I'm not saying you have to go buy your own island and make it a paradise. Although, if you have that ability, I would say that's fantastic can you invite me <laughs> I'd like to come visit um, but you know what I mean like you can make your heaven on earth you don't have to wait like you can make life good you can make life amazing you can make life great so it's telling you that you have the ability to create a paradise here for yourself you know I wish I was like Tabitha from Bewitched where I could just you know um, twitch my nose and, and have all my wishes come true I would create a nice little paradise I absolutely would everything's okay don't worry it's all working out in a beautiful way so I think this is saying when this tower moment happens don't get scared everything's okay 
Everything's working out for your highest good. You're going to be fine. The time has come. The time to act is now. So that tells me this is surprise is like any day, any day now. The surprise is coming in quickly. Get ready. Get ready for the soulmate. Whether they're in your life or not, get ready for what they're going to bring. Ooh, I like this. Drifter, experiencing life as it comes. All right, so this is just a little bit of a, uh, like a warning saying, look, don't get too far ahead of yourself. Don't worry about the future. The future's gonna work itself out. Just enjoy your journey, enjoy the moment. Take it one day at a time. Everything's working out for you in a beautiful way. I tend to do that. I tend to live in the future, which is not a, not good, not good at all. Because uh, the future usually does not turn out the way you think it's going to, <laughs> unfortunately. Heart with a key, welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together, and it's perfect. So, the you, singles. You singles out there, guess what? Open that heart up. Get ready. It's going to be beautiful. A little disruptive, but it's going to be beautiful. And again, even if you are in a relationship, that doesn't mean that you're not, you can't open your heart to love. That means that you're going to get love in a different way. It might not be a new romantic love, but it might be love in a different way. So many ways we can receive love. Light Dancer. This is such a beautiful energy. Illumination, the radiant self, and the shining soul. So the Light Dancer is just somebody who's loving light. Somebody who is like trying to become a more loving person. It's somebody who's really trying to better themselves. So I feel like that's you. And I think that um, maybe you have uh, started searching for oneness. And by oneness means like, you know how I always say that we are all the same because we are source energy. Or we're made from source. So oneness with God. Oneness with source. We're the same energy. But we're also the same as every other human being. We're all made up genetically our DNA is you know it's different but it's pretty much the same it's all we all have it right we all have that aspect so we're all one when we cross we all come back to uh, a collective energy we all go back to source so we are oneness so and I think at times you felt that and that made you really happy but at times that isn't there and you can see the differences and that has made you sad but this is saying that like life has a flow to it and there are going to be ebbs in that flow there are going to be obstacles in our path it's it's part of our journey so stay in the flow as much as you can and be that light dancer. Try and stay as love and light as you can, as loving as you can, and as, you know, seeing us all as one. Because that's when good things happen. And that's when we feel loved. And that's when we feel happy. So uh, I feel like that's coming in for you, like a time of just being love and light. Which is nice. Hopefully it stays and you don't lose it. 
but here we go. Let's pull you some charms. Uh, you got the pocketbook, so I think uh, money's going to get a lot easier for you, or better for you. Uh, you might be spending more time with friends here. Somebody is definitely smitten with you, though. Got a soulmate here. I like that. But get ready for change. Things are about to change for you. Look at that. Oh, no. Look at all this change. You have three different leaves and a butterfly. Something is definitely transforming. Something is definitely changing for you. For the better. That butterfly is beautiful. Butterflies are gorgeous. So something is really, really turning into something amazing. You're going in the right direction. Keep going. Even if it only feels like you're making slow progress, it's okay. Progress is progress. All right? So that is what I have for you, Pile 1. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Till next time, love and light. Hi, Pile 2. If you chose Smoky Quartz, then this one's going to be your reading. I think this is one of my very favorite crystals. It just feels really good in my hand, and has really good energy. I don't know why I love it so much, but I do. Anyway, here we go. Devil, Eight of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, I mean King of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. All right, we're looking at the blessings here, or the surprise. We want good surprises here. What is this? Oh, all right. You are, this is good. This is good. I know it looks a little scary here, but it's not. So what is devil energy? Devil energy is energy that holds us back from our full potential, right? It's like being chained to something, being weighed down. You know, like that old ball and chain, like you feel tied to something, you feel weighed down. Well, that's devil energy. It could be addictions as well, because that holds you back from reaching your full potential. You know, those addiction problems like really take over our lives and they, they ruin lives. Um, it's about codependency, false belief systems. But anyway, I feel like in this reading, you are done with it. You are breaking free from devil energy. I've had enough of it, and I'm walking away from it. I don't care if that leaves me feeling alone in this world. I don't care if, I, if it makes me feel like there's no hope. There's no help, there's no hope, because I'm going to get over it. I'm going to get over it, because everything always works out for me. I'm the King of Pentacles, and things will work out for me, but I have to, I have to leave. I, have to, I, ha I can't be stuck in that devil energy. I have to change it up. I have to walk away from something. And yeah, I might lose money in this situation, or I might lose some friends, or I might lose some support somehow. But it's okay because it, things are going to work out for me because I work hard. I work hard at everything I do in my life. So I'll be okay. I'll be okay financially. I will make new friends if I'm losing friends. I will find a new lover if I'm letting go of a lover. You, you will work hard to achieve what you want. You will definitely be productive. So the surprise is you reaching your limit and saying, I'm done, I'm done. So, and that might take you by surprise. All right, let's see. Just know that if you are going, going to be going through a hard time, it's temporary, it's not lasting. You're gonna find you're gonna be make make peace with your decision. You should accept valid criticism. All right, so that usually means that somebody might not be so nice.
advice to you when you make your decision or you might um, say how you feel okay uh, I get that but sometimes somebody else might see something in us that we not we're not seeing so maybe you should uh, at least allow them to say what they want to say you don't have to give them any kind of satisfaction of agreeing with them or anything like that saying you're right you don't have to give them validation but kind of recognize things that you might want to change in yourself if somebody points it out to you all right because um, we're human none of us are perfect we all have flaws but you know it's it's good to work on those flaws it's good to make them better so accept a valid criticism if somebody gives it to you but like I said that doesn't mean you have to acknowledge it or accept it or even say you're right mm -mm. you just be like okay walk away walk away but is uh, if you heard it then it did its then it did its job you'll work on it then all right so let's see now this devil energy can also be somebody else in your life you could be walking away from from someone saying I'm not gonna put up with that devil and that toxic behavior anymore I'm not doing it and you know if that's a break breakup of course you're gonna feel alone but everything's gonna work out for you all right so whatever this devil energy what energy is whether it's your own devil energy or somebody else's trust yeah trust your instincts and trust that everything's going to work out for you allow me divine to give you my deepest longing trusting you to know exactly how to handle them so they're tr you're you're giving up your trust to source to say you know what i want in this life you know what i need bring it to me or help me achieve it and you're trusting that that source and angels and God and uh, your angels and guides guides will uh, well do that work for you that'll be there for you mm, so sorry okay the initiation a rite of passage crossing the threshold I think by you walking away from whatever it is you're walking away you are leveling up you're saying you know what I am NOT going to tolerate this anymore I'm done with it I'm walking away from it that is like a rite of passage for you that is you achieving something great even though it might hurt you in some way you're still gonna walk away from it because you're strong and you're amazing and you know it and not in a cocky way but you know it like you know that you 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 believe in yourself you have you know you have certain abilities you know that doesn't mean that you don't doubt yourself from time to time it just means that you know you're capable of not having in this life even if it means losing out financially or you know losing a friend whatever it is some kind of support so you're you're going through a rite of passage here uh, which is initiating you into like a higher level in the game of life you're ascending you're leveling up yay walking away leave the unhealthy situation and enjoy the new doors that open up as a result y you know what pile two you're gonna do amazing just because one door closes doesn't mean others aren't gonna open 
I think several more are going to open for you because you closed out something here. Sibling, younger friends, and responsibility. I get the feeling that a sibling, a brother or sister, or even like a close friend that you might consider a brother or sister, um, is going to be very beneficial to you in some way. Like I feel like you're going to be able to lean on them. You're going to be able to count on them. They're going to stick up for you. They're going to be there for you. They're going to support you. They're going to choose you. I love that. Preparations come to fruition. So something you're working on, something you're casting your net out for, is really going to uh, work out beautifully for you. So, uh, yeah, you're going to get some positive results from something that you've wanted or something you've been working on. Nice. That's nice. Date. Meeting someone new. Dating. Get back out there. Plan and set a date. Alright, so if you're walking away from an old relationship, this is saying, you don't have to wait, you can date right away if you want. But if it's not, I mean, you still, I think, are going to go on a date or soon, like I think somebody's going to take you out or you're going to take somebody else out. Plan the date. Go for it. Even if it's with your husband or wife, plan the date. Everybody needs a date every now and then. Temple of dreams, sacred dreams, prophecies, and dream journeys. Your dreams are coming true. Your dreams are coming true. You're, you're get you're like this butterfly where like you've changed, you you morphed, you leveled up, and now you can fly. Something like your hard work's really going to pay off. Something is really going to work out for you. A lot of abundance here. Poise and charms. Make sure you're seeing the big picture, okay? When you, you know, maybe before you decide to walk away, make sure you're seeing the big picture. Things are going to work out. Things are going to be okay. You definitely are getting a wish. I don't know what that wish is, but it's it feels good. It's going to put a big smile on your face. Uh, this is you putting on your crown. You're saying, you know what? I'm not going to take you anymore. I'm over it. I'm done with you. You're wearing your crown. Good for you. Because now you get to write a new chapter in your book. Right? And you get to beat to your own drum. Or you get to march to your own drum. <laughs> um, you get to do what you want. It's, it's your life. And you're like, you know what? I'm taking it. I'm taking control of it. I get to do me. Lastly, we have a, a purple teddy bear here. So I, oh, I, I think you're gonna have some st security. I think you're gonna have somebody that you can count on, somebody who's gonna back you up. Maybe your brother or sister, maybe. All right, so I think you're gonna be just fine, pile two. Everything's gonna work out for you and it's gonna be absolutely beautiful and amazing. You really have stuff to look forward to here. All right, that's what I have for you. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment.
All those things help me and I appreciate you for it. Till next time, love and light. Hi, pile three. Forgot where I was at. Um, if you chose Aquamarine, then this pile is for you. Let's get some cards. Queen of Cups. Nine of Wands. The Sun. Queen of Wands. Star. All right, let's see what's going on for you. What surprise. I love the fact that you have the sun and a star. Some really good things coming in. So this is a very nice surprise for you. This is going to be beautiful. Could be new love. For those of you who are single, it could be love with the Queen of Cups here. The Queen of Cups is so attractive. Uh, they are because they have so much love to give, and uh, they're so, they're creative, but they're so caring. They're very intuitive. So trust your intuition at this time. Nine of Wands means for me. I think you're trying something different. I think you might. Um, yeah, I, I, I kind of feel like you're trying, you're changing things up. You're trying to change things a little bit, do things differently to see what works for you. And I think something's going to work. I think because you made a slight change, um, you're, you're going to get something pretty amazing coming in for you. Again, it's going to make you very, very, very happy. It could be a queen of wands that's coming in for you. Somebody who's passionate, somebody who's adventurous. Um, maybe even a little bit rebellious, a little bit sassy, exciting. I do think there's some excitement coming in for you. And then you have the star, which is a wish come true for you. It's a, a wish fulfillment because, uh, you know, especially if it's a love situation, you've been wanting it for a while. So I think I do kind of feel like it's love coming in for most of you. It could be something different, something new and exciting could be coming in. You know, it could be a different scenario other than love, but it does kind of feel like love for me. So, let's see. I, well, I don't understand why I get so crooked. I'm like staring at these. Yes, I'm staring at them upside down, but I'm still staring at them. You would think I could put cards in a row evenly <laughs> I'm so uncoordinated I guess all right here we go happiness well-being nice sun twice that means there's a lot of happiness for you pleasure with a close friend so ah you're just gonna be having a great time you're gonna be having a great time I'm excited this is beautiful. Nice stuff for you. What do we got? What do we got? Outrageous openness. Dear love, open me to your will. Release me from my attachments. Surprise and delight me with your plan. You know what's needed and I am open to receive. So you're asking the universe for a surprise. <laughs> and this is what surprises around the corner for you. Well, you're getting a surprise because you want a surprise. I think it's love. I really do. I feel like love is coming in for you. I think you're finding uh, someone you can really love. Nice. Longing for home, belonging, the original light workers. So this is somebody who feels out of place. Somebody who feels like they don't belong. And I feel like um, you're finally going to feel like you belong. You're not going to feel out of place anymore. You're going to feel part of something. Something bigger than yourself. You know, you're going to feel part of a community or part of a relationship or... It, it's going to make you feel good because it's like you're not isolated anymore. You're not all, by, all alone, all by yourself. 
you're now you now belong so you're right where you should be I think that's beautiful I think that's absolutely gorgeous holiday the answer you're looking for can be found during a vacation retreat or holiday getaway um, do you have travel plans I think that you might meet somebody when you travel so if you're not planning on traveling maybe you're starting to book a trip <laughs> um, if not if not I feel like you know maybe it's just a, a you know how we all get holidays off for work sometimes not all of us but we'll get a holiday or we'll get PTO or something maybe if you're not really traveling maybe on your paid day off you uh, you know you go shopping at the mall the shopping mall and you run into uh, somebody pretty amazing there and you have the conversation and then you get a number and then you start talking and then you start dating and and then it blows up from there because you went by chance to a shopping mall so I you know it could be anything here but I, I kind of feel for most of you it could be travel I kind of feel like you could meet somebody on a plane I don't know why I got that but I did so let's see dragonfly mermaid you've attracted wonderful news so hey you're getting good news <laughs> right that's that's the best like good news is coming in for you The wall obstacles. All right, so somebody's gonna have their walls up though. Somebody has their walls up, is it you? If it's you, you better lower those walls. All right, because somebody new you meet is not gonna wanna climb over walls. So you better lower them. Find out a way you could do it. Make peace. Now, if that's not talking about that, then maybe it's the opposite maybe somebody else has walls up and you have to convince them to let those walls down they will they absolutely positively will they'll uh, allow you to come in because you just feel right to them you feel like you're their person so uh all right not bad the snake Ooh. competition enemy clever malicious look over your shoulder and the other woman all right so I look this is a pretty negative card right when that comes out I don't feel like you're gonna meet a snake I feel like you're you're gonna meet somebody you're meant to meet I think the snake is somebody else in your midst I don't know if it's a family member or just a, a, somebody in your friend group I don't know if they can actually do real harm but it's definitely not somebody you can trust so I would be careful of your words around them yeah I would just be careful all right that's uh I don't like that everything else was really great and positive and then we have like oh you have somebody you have to look out for I, and, and to be honest with you I don't think it's a surprise I think you kind of know this already so I don't think it comes to you as a shock um, but we'll see 
the full moon temple celebration peak transcendent moments i think you're definitely going to have something to celebrate maybe that's why you're traveling maybe you're going to go celebrate somebody just keep an eye out for that one I don't know what else to say. Other than, I, you know, everything's really good. Everything is really good except for the snake. So, um, we all have a snake in our life. We, we might cut them out, but we all know who that snake was at one point. Um, so, just, just have that in the back of your mind. I don't want to scare you because I don't think it's any big deal, but just... I just want you to watch your words around them. I don't want them to twist them and use them against you. Or somebody you care about. Right, let me pull you some charms. I trust your intuition. Your, believe me, your intuition is going to go off when that snake's around. You're going to be like, you're going to be like lit up. You're going to be like zinged. You'll know. Uh, but your angels are here and luck is on your side just be smart about it right just be smart but things are going to work out for you uh you have you're going to get your slice of the pie and you're going to be able to write your chapter in the next in your book okay the jaguar this is a protection charm so you're protected you're protected i do think that love is coming in for a lot of you be mine and I do think that uh, whatever's going on, like wherever you're going to meet this person, uh, there's music involved. So it could it, it could very well be that you're going to a wedding out of state or somewhere else you're traveling to there. You could meet somebody while you're dancing on the dance floor. I don't know. It might be exciting. Anyway, pile three that is what i have for you give the video a like subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment because all of those things help me so very much and i appreciate you so much for it till next time love and light hi pile four if you chose citrine then uh this one is your pile let's see wheel of fortune Page of Wands, Ace of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. All right, Pile Four, you have something new coming in for you. I think that it's going to be very successful for you. Wheel of Fortune's here, so luck is definitely on your side. I think uh, the energy is moving in your favor. I think it's turning in your favor. I think this is, uh, you have an exciting idea or, I, I don't know, I, like the page to me is like, their minds are racing, right? They have all these ideas and they, they think they could do this. They think they could do that, but you know, they got to focus. They got to pick one. They can't do them all. It just, it's not feasible to do them all. It doesn't make sense. But there's a lot of energy here. There's a lot of excitement. So somebody, I feel like you're really getting excited to either start something new or, you know, you're just thinking about all the possibilities here. I think with the Seven of Pentacles, you, you kind of took a look at your life and you realized you wanted a change. Things are okay, but you, you want something a little bit different you want more i feel like you want more so you really want somebody that you can work with so you might be collaborating with somebody soon three pentacles is a teamwork card so you guys you might be building something with somebody in the near future you might you know approach someone and say hey i want to build this life with you or i want to i want to build this business with you there's something here that you're going to be uh, building something it feels like so let me get you a few more cards
hard work ahead. Unsettled times need to plan ahead. All right, so. Um, all right, so whatever is like you're thinking about, whatever you want to do, whatever's got you excited, it might take some work. You might not know what the outcome's going to be. You might have to put in some effort. That's okay. You got luck on your side here. You have good fortune coming to you, and I think you're going to be able to work with somebody. So I'm not worried about like it's unsettled. I think it's only unsettled in your mind. If you have a positive outlook, like if you think, okay, this is going to work out for me, I think you'll you'll be okay. So d don't worry about the outcome. Just do what you feel is right right take it day by day do what feels right and i think you're going to be absolutely fine companionship giving someone your complete presence is an astonishing gift well yeah it is so you're getting companionship. Is that that new beginning? You're going to find somebody that you can really work with, that you could collaborate with. All right. I love the elephants. They're standing out to me. Elephants never forget. So. Um, I don't know. This could be some kind of a soulmate for you that you you know you haven't forgotten them, and and that could be from like another lifetime, right? Another universe. <laughs> the crumbling. What are you clinging to? See, I think that's why you 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 took a lot uh, look at things. You you analyze things because you know you were holding on to something that you needed to just let go of to move on from. So I think that's what you're doing with that card. You're not you don't want to hold on to the past anymore. You want to move on. You might not know where it's going, but you're ready. You're ready to take that step, and you are going to be successful in this new beginning. Spiritual teacher. Your life purpose involves teaching others about healing and spirituality. Um, it says your life, but I kind of feel like you're meeting a teacher. You're meeting somebody who's going to be, who's going to teach you something. I feel like it's this teamwork card, I, be, and the reason why I say that is because like I feel like you're you're searching here, a little bit, like you know like like you're taking a look at your life because it, it it's not completely satisfying for you. So I think you're searching for an answer, and I think you're gonna find it. I think somebody's gonna teach you something. That's what I'm getting, so that's what I'm sticking with. Let's see what else comes out. Pose brave flight. You will not let fear stop you this time. Did it stop you before? Um, there's some hard work ahead, right? Don't be afraid of that hard work. You're going to be fine. Don't let fear get in your way. Especially when you don't want fear to get in your way when you have something that you truly, truly want or something that you truly believe in. Just go for it. You're going to be fine. Try to forget about that fear. Or, like, instead of forgetting about it, maybe you just face it head on and you're like, you know what, I'm looking you right in the eyes and I'm going to go right through you. You you don't matter. Fear is what I mean. Fear doesn't matter. Not you don't matter. Your fear does not matter. 
Like, you don't have a hold on me. I, I'm going to do this. Eyes of the eagle rising above the fray. Exactly. You're rising above. You're rising above your obstacles. You're rising above any naysayers, any, any self-doubts. You're rising above it all, and you're going to soar. This new chapter, this new beginning, is going to looking pretty, pretty amazing. And it looks like you're not doing it alone. You have companionship, so you're not going to be alone, and you're going to be successful. What more could you ask for? Ascending, transcending obstacles, right? Overcoming any obstacles. Learning, expansion, new phase, new beginning. Preparing for union. Companionship. Look at that. Preparing for a union. Nice. That's so nice. That's really nice. <laughs> All right, pile four. Let's see what else we got for you. Direction, purpose, and change. Yeah. I feel like you're on your path now. I feel like you had to change it up. I think it, you knew. You felt it. You took a look at things, and you're like, you know what? Things aren't exactly the way that I want them to be. And so you're taking a new path now. You're going to be back on your purpose. You're going to go in the right direction. So follow your path wherever it may lead. Because it's going to lead you to some place uh, pretty amazing, it feels like. All right, well, let's see what kind of charms we get for you. Let's see, let's see. Okay, we have big love here. Lots, lots of love. We do have the moon. So the moon is thing tell is like unclear thinking. Things like things that are cloudy, things that are foggy. You don't get to see it clearly. So some things might still be a mystery to you. The future, some things in this situation might, you know, you might be a little hesitant because you don't, you can't see the outcome or the result. That shouldn't stop you. All right, don't let that fear of that of not knowing stop you from from trying because you miss. 100% of the shots you don't take, right? You got to take your shot. You got to at least try because you never know. It might go in the net. So um, just pick your path. It could lead to a commitment. There's more love here, but I think something is changing, and I think you know it needed to change. It was time. Now, some of you are going to fix something with that wrench. Some of you need to fix something, and, that you, you know, that's okay. You're, you're going to be able to fix it. It's, it's fixable. Your angels are here loving you, supporting you, guiding you. But it really is your time to shine. Or that starfish, what else does a starfish do besides shine bright? And they, uh, they regenerate. When they lose a limb, they regenerate. So this could be like you regenerating something, you fixing something, you, you, you know, a rebirth of sorts. Now you got my apple with the teacher, so there is some kind of a spiritual teacher involved. It could be you, it could be your person, it could be, uh, you know, maybe somebody you're getting advice from, but I definitely feel like there is definitely a spiritual teacher in your midst here, in your energy. Now, you, lastly, you did get the purple teddy bear, so I, I'm just kind of feeling like the universe wants to give you a great big hair, bear hug, give you some encouragement, you know, uh, cheer you on, and they want you to know that everything's going to be okay. You're going to be successful at this. Don't wait anymore. Go for it. All right. 
that's what I have for you. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Till next time, love and light.